So no matter what, keep your cool. Remember, um, they're using electromagnetic frequency on the body. Okay, keep your cool. They have been spying on you. They have satellites up in the sky that can look through your houses now. They know who the gun owners are. Keep your fucking cool. So, um, that's how they play their little game. It's not you. It's them. Because they're different. Okay? They know the genetics on this planet and they manipulate it. Like I said, it goes all the way back. Okay? Um, it's the most dangerous thing that um, an elite crew of people can do to you know the population is to know the genetics on the planet and use frequency as a weapon of war on the people so um, all this stuff that is occurring you know you know the First Amendment being attacked and all that stuff it's done on purpose people because they want the Constitution down ripped apart and they want to bring America down to its knees okay these people you know, you know, you're going up against, you know, ancient bloodline here. And unfortunately, you have a group of people that will do their bidding. So, you know. Now, um, a lot of people join this, the gang stalkers join this because they think they're safe, okay? When they don't realize that the Illuminati can turn the tables on them. They could switch of a flip, man. You think you're safe, but you're not. So, um, just keep that in mind, people. You know, uh, just because you think your grass is greener doesn't mean it's true. Truth is truth, people. Um, like I said, you know, uh, I have been through a hell of a lot. I know a lot of their deceptions and their tools now. I don't have everything. I don't have any answers for everything. But, you know, I know they're using the Bible as a weapon. They're using everything they can as a weapon to um, discredit you, to make you look nuts, you're crazy, um, to use their laws against you. Now, you know, speaking of laws, I want to bring up a movie. There's a movie out there on Netflix. It's about a woman, she has these three billboards and she rents them out. And she communicates to the police, why hasn't her problem been solved? And it got the whole town in an uproar. But there's a very significant scene that I wish to bring up. And it's a part where <clears throat> the priest shows up at her house and he's sitting there drinking his tea she told him point blank she said you know I was thinking today there's these crips and these bloods and they're part of a gang right and in California there's a law that even though you might be part of this gang but you don't say shit you're not if something goes down, let's say. Something happens out on the streets. And you don't see shit. You don't hear shit. You don't say shit. But you're part of this gang, secretly. She said, you know, you're culpable. Even though you sit in silence, you're culpable. That was her message to the priest. Remember that, people. You're culpable when shit goes down. And you're part of a secret society. You're culpable. It's a very important movie. Especially that scene where she's staying in the kitchen saying... Drink your tea and get the fuck out of my kitchen. 
because you're nothing in my life. You don't mean shit to me, and you leave my billboards alone. You should all rent that movie. It's a very significant scene. It's towards the beginning. Remember, if you sit in silence, you're culpable. We'll run out.